And sticking with our credo at the station of local is lacquer and local is always lacquer der, that was James Grace and so Decan with a track called Walt Medley. I'm delighted to welcome to the studio a voice very well known on Fine Music Radio. It's Stephen Spling Aspling. And Stephen is now. Um, compiled a book called The Essence of Dreams, an anthology of film reviews, and this book is going to be launched at the Labia Theatre on Tuesday the 25th at 5.15pm. Stephen, hello and welcome to you. Thank you, Hadley. Wonderful to be here. Right. So tell us, what is it about films that makes you come alive and excites you and challenges you? Well, like the title, The Essence of Dreams, it's really a chance to escape it's uh, that immersive quality that films bring about that allow us to get away from it all, to take a break, to live vicariously through someone else's eyes, even as the director sort of guides us through the storytelling process. So for me, it's all about that, that uh, chance, that escapist kind of fear that really is what it's about for me. And this is a question that's always been bothering me. So does watching a film in front of a television screen or a laptop have the same resonance as watching it in a cinema? Absolutely not. You know, uh, <laughs> it's the gaze versus the glimpse. When we're at home and watching TV, we're able to be distracted. We're able to distract ourselves. We've got our phone going. When we're in a cinema, in a dark room, all you can do is look ahead and watch the film. So that's why it's more of a gaze. You actually are more uh, connected to the film. You're not sort of hearing beeps and looking at your phone every now and then to see where the actor acted before. At least that's the idea, because I still see some screen lights going on in the cinema. <laughs> but uh, that's the idea, yes. So as a reviewer, um, unlike myself or other people who have a choice, um, you pretty much have to watch everything that's thrown at you um, and have to write whether it's good or bad. But if you had a choice, if, if somebody said to you, you've got a week to binge watch and do nothing else but watch movies of your choice. What would Stephen Spling Aspling be watching? What is your favorite kind of films? Well, I don't really have that specific, you know, I'm, I'm really wanting to watch great films. I'm not necessarily wanting to watch a specific genre. Uh, I think if, if it was, you know, left to my, my own choice, uh, you probably I would focus more on sort of um, medieval, sort of dreamlike. That's why I love this book so much, because I do like the films that, that uh, haunt you after the yeah, credits yeah. roll, that you feel that you've actually been in another world. The ones that have such a strong world-building quality to them that it really just comes alive for you, and the vision is completely and uh, authentically uh, portrayed. So those are the kind of films that I gravitate towards. And if I had a chance, because it's quite funny, as a reviewer, you think I'd be able to watch loads of films, but uh, trying to keep up with the latest stuff, you don't really have that much of an opportunity to look back and even watch films from your, you know, 1,000 film collection. Uh, so it kind of is a bit sad and ironic that you've got this wonderful array of films to choose from, and you can't even get round to watching some of them twice that really deserve a second viewing. And do you think that um, with the advent and, and the problem that we had with COVID, um, people's perceptions of movies have changed because now they were forced to watch movies that were thrown at them either with all the movie, uh, like the Netflix, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or um, are they still choosing what they want to watch, really? I think so. Uh, you know, I think we have become so fragmented. There was a time when we only had a few channels where yeah, we would get yeah. information from. And I was just saying earlier that I only realized it was Wimbledon about a week ago. And there was a time when you wouldn't not know that Wimbledon yes, was on. Indeed. So I think it's difficult to sort of uh, know exactly what's coming to screen as often as we used to know about it. Uh, and we also have so much choice that it's almost a problem. We've got so many different streaming platforms that uh, trying to figure out what to watch is uh, a bit of a chore. So hopefully people tune into Talking Movies to get a few hints. So um, I've just, t must tell the listeners, I've just managed to page through the book and I'm absolutely excited about the book. So tell us a bit about the, the book, um, the reviews and how far back do you go? So uh, this compilation is basically, I've been writing film reviews for 16 years. And it's, uh, there's no real sort of time allocation, I'd say. Ah. It's more of a contemporary collection of film reviews. So nothing really dating back too much further than 2000. And it's just, yeah, I, I, I've always wanted, it's been on my bucket list to put a book together. And now I've released a movie bucket list. All of these films I've given an 8 out of 10 or higher. 
So when you're paging through it, it's almost like you can't lose because uh, <laughs> you either have seen it and you want to see maybe what I would have added in terms of the insights, or you are looking forward to seeing something, or you're not sure what to see, and now you can at least uh, target a few films that might appeal to you. So um, that's what's beautiful about it, as well as the sketches. Let's talk about those sketches, because as I said, I, I had the pleasure of looking through the book, and there, there's some wonderful sketches that relate to the film. So who is the person who did the sketches, and um, let's just talk about them. His name is Alan Lamprecht, and uh, he's in his early 20s, which is quite surprising, because there's, there's a maturity and an understanding in the images, the illustrations he's put together, that is just so wonderful. And 97 reviews, 97 sketches, probably closer to 100, actually. And all of them are inspired by the films themselves. And there's like a, what I love about them is that there's an, an ambu ambiguity to it. Mm. There's a surreal feel to each of the sketches because you might, even if you've seen the film, you might try to remember that element that he's, he's portrayed in each of these sketches. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's a wonderful little like teaser in a way for each of these films to see what he's done. And you mentioned something earlier about your, your big CD collection that you don't get a chance to. And I think a lot of people these days have that problem. I certainly have that problem as well. And I've got a collection that I really want to, really want to watch, but you don't have the time. But I think this book will help people choose, help people to choose. Now, you have to watch that one because, and, and reviews often do help. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. You know, you, you, we've got so, so little time that you almost don't want to watch bad films. And so yeah, yeah. this is, you know, there, there's obviously um, my taste comes into it because some of the stuff's a little bit darker and dreamy. So uh, it does help to appreciate that side of things if you are looking at getting a copy of The Essence of Dreams. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's a great starting point for someone that's yeah, not yeah. quite sure what they want to watch. And, and now they can just, without having to do too much research, just page to the book and say, Ah, that looks like a great choice for tonight. So, folks, if you want to get the book, please go to the Labia on the 25th of July at 5.15 p.m. And Stephen will, of course, be there. And I'm sure he's going to sign the book for you. Um, will the books be on sale there as well? The books will be on sale. There's a screening that is also happening, a screening of Sing Street. And uh, if you would like to book seats for that, the seats are limited. You can email me at info at spling.coza. Uh, otherwise, if you'd like a signed copy and you can't make that event, you're welcome to email me there as well. And the book we're talking about is The Essence of Dreams, an anthology of film reviews by Fine Music Radio's Stephen Spling Aspling. Stephen, the very best of luck with you with this book. Thanks so much, Hadley.